we invest in technology because we are growing, although we are still a family farm. And uh, yeah, you don't want to have sick cows. It never lies and it is easy to use the, the herd navigator, so it gives really uh, easy uh, benefits. We think that it's the tool of the future because uh, yeah, you're in earlier state you can uh, prevent sick cows. I think you need uh, less cows for your quota, so we earn money with the herd navigator. It is easy to work with a herd navigator and I can show you on the screen. Uh, when we come in in the morning, um, you look at the attention board and on this side you have the standard information uh, of your herd and on this side is the information of the herd navigator. Uh, for example, mastitis at the moment it's zero, so none of our cows has mastitis. Uh, this is ketosis and the only thing you do is double click on it. It gives you the information, uh, the, the risk that she's having ketosis. In this case it is 100% and it also tells you what you have to do. It says that you have to use energy pills, two pills for two days. We actually did that with this cow, we treated that cow. We started in June with the herd navigator and uh, actually this cow had a clinical ketosis. And actually four days before we saw that she had a clinical ketosis, this cow had an alarm. And we treated that cow and in the same lactation, at about 45 days, she had an alarm again. And we used the energy pills and you can see that there was a rise in BHP but it dropped really fast. And if you look at the lactation graphic, this is the first uh, ketosis and this is the second one. And you can see that there's a, a drop th that it's much smaller. So uh, you can imagine that if she didn't have ketosis, the line would be much higher. And how much higher, no idea, but if it would be only one or two liters, that means that you, you would earn uh, 600 or maybe even more liters extra. This cow, um, uh, it's, it's nice to see the graphic, but it's not nice to have a cow like this. Uh, the first uh, couple of days she was an oestrus and uh, luckily she picked it up herself. And unfortunately she developed a luteal cyst. And because we were quite skeptical in the beginning of the herd navigator, we, we asked the vet to check this cow and he said we had to treat that cow. We did that and he also said that if you don't see a, a clear heat, treat that cow again after about 15 days. We did that again, but we shouldn't have done that. And uh, unfortunately, she developed a follicle cyst and we treated that cow again without asking the vet. She picked up the cyclus and we inseminated that cow and she's pregnant now. So she was pregnant at 150 days. You wouldn't manage that without her navigator. It's a great thing about uh, yeah, the progesterone. Uh, yeah, it never lies, the, the level of progesterone. So if you've got silent cows, you still can inseminate them. So you can cr increase the uh, in calf time. The technology to use the, the herd navigator is really easy. It's uh, uh, easy to use every day. It takes you 10 minutes in the evening and 10 min minutes in the morning to look in your computer uh, and look at the alarms. And you just have to replace the cassettes. I think it, it improves your life, your social life, because you have more spare time for your family, but it also improves the quality of your farming, your management. We're very happy with the Herd Navigator and I hope uh, it will stay forever. <laughs>